Are, are you working on anything right now musically? Are you working on video stuff? Are you, uh, what's going on? I am working on an album. It's going to blow your mind. Get ready for it. Hits the streets whenever Goatee says. Give us uh, a teaser. What can we expect? Can, um, can you give us a, a hint? Yeah, I'd love to. Party people are the place to be. Put your hands up, throw them up. Just get them high. Wave them side to side. Do your thing. You loving life? I am. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Those, are, uh, those aren't real lyrics from the album, but I think that there's something there. Well, I'm, I'm in Columbus now working on the album. Okay. So I fly home. Just so world-traveling-wise. Yeah, life's short, man. I live my life as an art, as uh, Nicolas Cage would say. I don't think Nicolas Cage would say that. I did. If you and Nicolas Cage were teamed up, if, 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 if a, a Hollywood producer said, I'm going to get these two guys, and then we're going to make a, what kind of movie would they stick you two in? Mm-hmm. In a world where, okay, it'd be some sort of movie where there'd be a love story potentially. Between, be, between John Rubin and Nicolas no, Cage? No, no, but there would be a love story. Okay. And there'd be some sort of twist where good would fight evil. But I haven't figured out the rest. Would you be together fighting, or would you be good and or evil? Okay, yeah, we could have like a crazy personality. Like, you know what? Like, what if like, okay, like what if I was like a guy? Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I was a dude, and like I had like an evil side of me. Mm -hmm. And he, you know what I mean? Like good, and an evil side came out. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's a love story. Yeah. And a flex capacitor. If your beats got up to 88 beats per minute. There you go. Nicholas Cage shows up. <laughs> John, what do you, what do you, uh, if there was anything that that, be, that you would get to, to mention in this interview, get to plug, mm -hmm. what would you like to plug? Plug away. Sometime in the near future, there will be more songs available. That's it? I don't know when they'll be available. But you know it's coming. It's coming. No, we're finishing. I'm, I'm close to finishing an album, but I'm not sure if we're going to break them up and release them as singles and then put out a full album or how we're going to go about it. But, uh, yeah, the new album is, is, is money. So basically what you're saying is we're at the point right now where we were four years ago when we knew there was going to be an Indiana Jones 4. Mm -hmm. Didn't know when, mm -hmm. but we knew it was coming. It's coming. But right, so right now, you know it's happening. Or what's coming next? Johnny Rubonic, a.k.a. Don Rubio, a.k.a. The Rubonic Plague, a.k.a. Johnny Rubonic, a.k.a. The Thought Thinker. That's deep. The Thought See, Thinker. You sometimes I mean? it's... He thinks thoughts. And he puts them on. The that's, that's what I like about you. Is because you aren't just fun to hang around with, but you make me think so much, my head physically hurts when I'm done with the conversation because I'm not used to thinking so deeply. Do mm. you know where I'm going? It's the kind of stuff that keeps me going. It's the reason why I make music. <laughs> You're a thought instigator. Thought instigator, that's sick, dude. AKA the instigator of thought. <laughs> See, what am I doing with my life? Where have you been? You know what? Let's so, okay, we got... No. <laughs> <laughs> I realized I could start going somewhere with that and then end up nowhere and just make myself look ridiculous. <laughs> John, thanks for talking with us. Thank again. you. All right. And thank you.